Hello everyone, welcome to the weekend vlog. Um, y'all, I, my arm is so tired. Like, I literally work out all the time and nothing ever changes. I love that for me. Anyways, let me switch arms. So this weekend, it's really nothing crazy. I'm just gonna bring y'all along with the things that I have to do. Um, this morning, we already did our quiet time and makeup and just touched up my hair really quickly. Now we're about to go to a coffee shop. We have so much business things to get done today. And so I gotta get out of this house because it's cloudy outside. I'm a little sleepy weepy. And we're just not that productive in here today. So we're gonna go to a, well, we're gonna go to Whole Foods and sit in like the coffee shop side of things and get some work done. And then we have a karaoke party tonight. Happy birthday, Becca. Shout out to Becca. We're celebrating her tonight and it's gonna be so fun, y'all. I love some karaoke. I'm singing a high school musical. I am going in. So we are definitely, oh crap, I forgot about copyright. But whatever, I'll get some clips. It's so close, I'm sorry y'all. It's cause my arm is tired. I'll get some clips of karaoke tonight. It's gonna be so fun, I'm so excited. I might post a lot of that on my Instagram story. So that way we don't get copyrighted. But yeah, so, and then tomorrow, oh, I'm filming a podcast. There's a few things on the agenda for the next two days, three days. So I'm just gonna bring y'all along. So now we are going to Whole Foods to go get coffee. Okay, this is horrible. All right, we are filling up my Stanley. It is fresh and clean out of the dishwasher. We love a clean Stanley. Sparkling. Beautiful. Wow, this dishwasher really did a good job this time. Side note, Carrie Job really needs to thank me for her paycheck because, but yeah, I've listened to The Dove over 800 times. I've given Carrie maybe a thousand dollars. So, Carrie, sponsor me. Love ya. Absolutely nothing done. Oh my goodness! I am literally so annoyed right now. I had to do a lot of things on the business side today, of things that y'all just don't see. And literally nothing worked. And then my computer crashed. I don't know if it crashed or if somebody in Whole Foods was trying to hack my computer. So I panicked and left. And nothing got done. But it, oh my gosh, like literally nothing. I made no strides. I was in there for four hours. I'm about to go to Trader Joe's and maybe get a snack that I've been looking for. I don't know if they even still have it, but I'm gonna try to go home and try to continue. I still have a few hours to karaoke. And I kind of already have my makeup and hair done, so I just literally might just put clothes on and go. I just cannot believe I literally, I am so frustrated. I just came all the way to Trader Joe's 
to get my snack that they no longer sell. So I got these little mini little muffins or waffles or whatever the heck these dumb things are. I'm so mad they don't have a night snack. What a unproductive day. This is literally the worst day to vlog ever. Eating the waffle. Oh, let me make sure that these don't have nuts. If these have nuts, y'all, I'm ending the vlog. Okay, no nuts. I'm allergic for those of you who don't know. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna try to get some more work done. I'm over it. Let me tell y'all something. Music is just so powerful. It will literally take you from a bad mood to a good mood in less than 20 seconds. Let me just put y'all on real quick because I know y'all heard that recent song, like that Christian song. Is this focused? Um, No Longer Bound by Forrest Frank and Holvey or whatever that boy's name is. Um, well, Forrest, he's the one that sings on that song. Holvey is the one that raps. I hope I'm saying his name right. It's probably not right. But Forrest just came out with another Christian song. And it's called Lift My Hands. And it is so groovy. I literally love it. And I lift my hands. Hey, I get something praise to you. And then I just got on like this Forrest kick because I did not know that Forrest made his own individual songs. He is part of Surfaces and I love Surfaces. They're like my favorite band. And well, non-worship band. And um... So I already loved Forrest. So I just got on a um, kick of just listening to his songs the past like 24 hours. And some of them are Jesus songs and some of them aren't. But like his not Jesus songs are so good. Like nothing crazy, no drugs, no rap, no sex, no nothing. You know, just he's just vibing. Like I love Forrest. So my favorite song that I've come across that he just made is called Back In. And it is just, that's what I was just playing. It, it's just like, I can't even not dance to it. It's just so good. I love Forrest. He is just my favorite. And so, if you're listening, looking for some clean, sometimes, if we're being honest, a lot of times we are not in the mood to listen to worship music. Now, that does not mean we need to feed into that every time we're not in the mood. Sometimes you need to fight it. But sometimes it's okay to listen to some secular songs and... The, the issue is just finding the good ones like I'm still not listening to no, no, no crazy you know drugs and pow pow but um Forrest makes really good clean secular music and he just talks about his like life and I love him so if you need a recommendation when sometimes you don't feel like listening to Christian music that is your boy he's the best all right I've stalled enough I'm about to go try to do this I can't tell you what it is yet, but do this thing, Lord. All right, update. I, um, it's 7.30, 7.20. I, uh, gotta go. Or just touch up my makeup real quick. Then I'm going to karaoke. I'm so fed up. <laughs> I, today has birthed a new prayer in me. My husband. I need my husband to be a businessman. Because I can't do this. I can't. No. I need him to do all the business stuff. Because Victoria, she is not business oriented. She is creative oriented. All day I did behind the scenes business stuff and I just had a miserable day. I didn't get to create anything. I'm literally crying. <sighs> the heck? Well, I did create my two reels this morning that I posted. That was fun. Glad I got that in, but oh my God. I cannot get over how just unproductive today was. I made a little bit of progress at the towards the end. I literally worked all the way up until 7:20. And 
then I had another technical issue. Like, what is happening? God, is this you trying to speak to me, telling me that I shouldn't be doing this stuff? But I don't think that that's the case. I think everything's been going real good. He's like, let me stick a challenge in there real quick. <laughs> and so, now I'm struggling a little bit, but anyways, I gotta get in like a party mood because we're about to go sing high school musical. If the karaoke does not have high school musical, I will literally cry. <laughs> so, that is what we are about to go do. So, let's get in a party mood. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to get in a party mood. What's a party song that I love? Dude, I can listen to that song by Forrest. <laughs> That'll get me hype. Oh. All right, y'all. I'm about to just finish my makeup. And then I'm, I'm just wearing a button down tonight and some sneakers because it's raining and gross. And I will show y'all my outfit when I'm done. <laughs> All right, switching over to phone. Um, we're just wearing, why do I look so wide? What the heck? Ugh, should I change? I don't have time, whatever. We're wearing this button down. Um, no, it's definitely in the outfit. Anyways, y'all, I don't have time to change. We're leaving. Okay. Going to karaoke. That place is so fun. my morning coffee y'all we literally sang all night last night if you know me clearly my good morning I love to sing and that was genuinely probably one of the most fun birthday celebrations I've ever been to and I literally loved every second. So, um, we just literally woke up to the biggest treat. I got a text from, okay, so I don't know if y'all, some of y'all might not know, but I lead worship at my church. And I got a text from one of the ladies who is on staff at our church and she's on staff for worship and um she literally just asked if it was me and like a few other girls on the worship team she texted in a group and she asked if we wanted tickets to brooke lidgerwood i was like absolutely freaking lootly and it just happens to be right after i'm free for the night so today what we have on the schedule, well, let's go in order. I'm about to read my Bible, do my quiet time. Then I'm about to go get coffee with Caroline. Also fun fact, Caroline is also one of the girls in the group that is coming to Brooke tonight. So me and Caroline, you're gonna see a lot of her today. Then we're going to see Jesus Revolution for the, This is this my third or fourth time? Either third or fourth time for me. I literally can't remember now. 
Um, but Caroline has not seen it and she really wanted to go with me. So I was like, girl, Jesus Revolution can take all of my money. I will go broke for them. <laughs> so we're gonna go see that after coffee. And then I have to film a podcast episode. So my friend Carlton's coming over. So once me and Carlton hit cut, I'm out the door running to Brooke, baby. So let's get the day started. I just got goosebumps just thinking about it. I'm so excited. Let's get the day started. I'm gonna do my quiet time now and drink my coffee. I'm so happy. Okay, all right. <laughs> so today we are reading starting a new book if you didn't know i'm doing a 52 week um bible reading plan it's been great so far i really really love this plan like it really does well with just like honing in your discipline on reading and like it's just really good so i just love it today we are starting a new book mark chapters one and two so let's get into it gospel according to mark Chapter 1, ties by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist. Um, here's my movie outfit. I'm literally, uh, 10 minutes late to coffee. Gotta go! Y'all, update, we're literally in the middle of the movie. Look at the tears on my face. I cannot stop crying. It's the best movie ever. Um, okay, I'm going back in. I just had to use the bathroom. Okay. All right, what do you rate Jesus Revolution out of 10? I mean, I gotta rate it a 10 out of 10. Okay, thank you, that's what I said. Right, I mean, like, I think if you're comparing it or judging it based on how many times I cried. Oh, yeah. And the higher number of times I cried, yeah. the higher the rating, mm -hmm. then yeah. I don't have to reach out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, quick update. We are getting ready for, oh shoot, the podcast. Um, I just cannot stress enough. Please go see Jesus Rev. Volution. <laughs> It is genuinely the best movie ever. I cried so hard. I literally was like hyperventilating. <laughs> oh, loved it. All right, we're getting ready for the podcast. Carlton's gonna be over soon. We're gonna film and then I'm going to the Brick Lidgerwood concert. Worship night, yeah. All right, bye. Right, everyone, this is Carlton. <laughs> Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I am watching The Basement with Tim Ross. Um, all right. So, it is the next day. Y'all. I just have so much to say. It is Sunday. And I, yesterday we went to the Brooke concert. It was amazing. She is just, it was just honestly just like so chill. Like it was nothing like crazy, you know? Like she really, we just really just worshiped. So I got home kind of late last night and I was convicted on the way to the concert. And I really just felt like the Holy Spirit was saying, like, Victoria, you're doing too much. Like, you need to relax. And I'm like, okay, okay. And I was feeling that all week last week, y'all. I promise y'all from Monday to Saturday, every second of the day was taken up with something. And I was constantly running for the next thing and running from the next thing and running to the next thing. And, and it was just, it was a lot. And so, after the Brooke concert, I was like, okay, we're going to rest. And I went to sleep, and I did not have to serve at church this morning or work for the first time in I don't even know how long. And um, 
I did not set an alarm. I was like, we're gonna wake up when we wake up. And I plan on visiting a new church today. And sorry, y'all, my nose is peeling so bad. I don't know if I put oil on it. Um, but I was just so tired. I woke up at like nine o'clock and I literally felt like I had just got hit by a truck. And then I remember the Holy Spirit was like, Victoria, you need to rest. You're doing too much, you're doing too much. So I was like, okay, let's just not go to the Sioux Church this morning and try to make it to the 1145 at my church. Long story short, we did not make it to the 1145. <laughs> and I feel good, like I feel great. I kind of feel like my church service was last night at Brooks concert. And that's like what I needed to just get my cup filled for the week. And I just felt, you get a little bit of FOMO, especially when you're super involved in the church like I am, when you just miss Sundays, but it is okay. Like we are not meant to run a thousand miles per hour every second of every day. And I chose to take this Sunday off from church and I feel great. I was a little bit just like, oh, a little bit antsy, but I still was so tired. So I was just like laying there. And I, I got up y'all, I washed my hair, washed my clothes. Um, I did, I did a face routine y'all. And also that was another thing. I wanna start taking one day a week to not wear makeup. Cause everything I'm doing now is just shooting content for something. And it requires makeup on my face all the time. So I don't have on any makeup today. And I literally just pampered my skin so well. And um, just got like a little peach fuzz off my face and mustache. Yes, girls have mustaches. And I just like, just kind of just cleared my face and put some product on it, some discoloration serum and um, under my eyes because they're a little dark. But I feel like a new woman. Like I am rested. Like this was truly my Sabbath. And I probably won't miss church again for some months. But um, so I'm about to go eat out. <laughs> Sorry, anyways, um, and we're gonna go plan out the week. I have to make my content calendar. I have to um, podcast calendar. I have to like literally, and I also have things almost every night. I know the Holy Spirit said slow down, but this is why we're gonna go really sit down and just plan and not vibe with the Holy Spirit, but just kind of vibe and just time manage really well and see if we could just still squeeze in some just like moments that I'm not going, 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 going. So, that oh and also another goal this week I have is getting my sleeping schedule back. I want to be sleep by 10 30 and awake by 12 31 32 33 34 35 So like 6 30, 6 45 ish, 7 30, 7, 7, 7 30 in that realm. And so I gotta go to sleep earlier in order to do that. So we're also that's also a goal this week. So we just gotta go sit down for a minute, eat dinner, and just write out all my goals, and then go to the grocery store and get my groceries for the week. And yeah, so that is what is happening now. Let's go to Grindhouse. I can't stop looking at my skin. I'm just so happy with it. Oh, thank you, Lord. All right, let's go. I, it is Sunday night. That's gross. I'm gonna unpack these groceries and get in bed and get the week started. So thank you for following along. If you made it all the way to the end. It's been a long weekend, man. But it's a good weekend. I feel good. I feel ready to conquer the week. So thanks for tuning in and I will see y'all on the next vlog. Bye.